Pisces. <sighs> Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. I had to sigh, guys, because it's been one of those days, but I am so very, very grateful. I'm grateful. Um, I have been doing a lot of personal readings, more than what I expected. So a big, big shout out and a thank you to those of you who have booked with me, who chose me to read your cards. I will be closing personal readings at the end of this weekend because I am going away so it is holiday season here for children children are out of school so my son is out of school this coming week and we have a trip planned so I'm gonna go missing for a little bit but I will be back um personal readings I will do up to Sunday so if you're still interested please email me um at black butterfly diamond tarot over the next couple of days and i can get those out to you um once sunday is up i will not be taking personal readings for next week because i'm my schedule i will just be too busy i won't be able to commit to it um and i feel like i need a break to be honest because i'm so grateful but yeah i did a lot <laughs> i've done a lot this week so let's get you a reading I did start with the water sign, so I'm going to do Pisces. But I don't know when I'm going to get the rest of the signs out. So please bear with me this week. I will post as and when. Okay, bear with me. My schedule is tight. Your girl's got to be a mother. She has to be a mother. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. I hope that you are feeling good, Pisces. Let's take a look at what you need to know at this time. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I very much appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. Pisces, what do you need to know at this time? Let's hope for some good energy. Let's, let's hope for some good energy. It is Saturday night. Hope that you are playing safe, feeling good. Let's get into this. Pisces, Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Pisces needs to know. Please give Pisces clear and concise messages as I draw for the energy that Pisces needs to be aware of. I could be picking up on your energy, Pisces. I could be picking up on the energy of somebody around you. Flip the rolls if you need to. Closed off guarded resistance. It came out in the reverse. Self-worth expectations. Decisions. Some of you have raised your standards, Pisces. It's like you've come out of a healing phase. Yeah, strength, empowerment and the sun. You've come out stronger after something, some sort of betrayal, some sort of pain, difficult situation. This doesn't have to be romantic as well. This could be platonic. This could be family. It could be anything. Um, there's something about you choosing to raise your standards, what you desire now looks different than what you did before. There's something about you coming out of a healing phase. Maybe you were a little bit guarded for a while and you could have gone into isolation, gone into yourself. But I'm talking to a Pisces who is in the process of kind of um, making a choice to kind of move on from something or open up to something here. This could be you. This could be somebody else. With self-worth, expectations, you know your value, Pisces, and you're adding tax. With the sun, the strength card, empowerment deception and temptation is in the reverse you're not taking anyone's bull crap which we love to see <laughs> tell me about closed off in the reverse party external yeah you could be out here you could be out here going out out mm. action beginnings yeah it's funny, I've just, it wouldn't have come to me otherwise. I had a conversation with one of my neighbours just today and she's she confided in me and she told me she's going through a breakup and a separation um, and she's like, I'm not sitting in the house, I'm going out. <laughs> and that just came into my head, this, this is the vibe. You're not sitting in the house anymore, you're going out, you're putting yourself out there, you're getting your glad rags on, you're putting your best lipstick on. Even if you don't even wear lipstick, you're getting the lipstick out because it's the occasion to get the lipstick. I'm hearing paint in the town red. 
you're going in. Some of you could be linking up with your girls, your guys. You doing it? I'm hearing situation will arise. Usher. I, I, I love you. You are my girl. When he is moping at home and then he gets told that he needs to come to the club. That that tune there, yeah, is that the vibe? Is that the vibe? Well, you're going to be stepping into this vibe. Tell me about self-worth and expectation. Tell me about self-worth and expectation. Self-worth and expectation in the upright. What is self-worth and expectation, please, for Pisces? Epiphany and breakthrough in the reverse. Yeah, this, it's like a failure has been your stepping stone. A failure has been your... The first step of you knowing that you deserve more. I wouldn't say you was insecure before. Air, Ace, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with those signs. Air sign energy. You've had a lot of thinking time. You've had a lot of space. You've had a lot of um, breathing room. Something didn't work out for you. You could have felt like you failed in a situation or something failed. Something failed you even. And that was the beginning of you realizing who you are. Very powerful energy. Tell me about decisions. Change courage. Yeah. You're moving on. You're moving on. I'm hearing thank you next. There's something that you're consciously deciding to do. Karma, balance and justice. Yeah. And as soon as you do this, you could be traveling as well. There could be a trip that you've got planned. Um, as soon as you do this, there's an energy here of things balancing out for you. Karma can do what it does the best. Feminine. Divine feminine energy. Tell me about party. Truth and expression. Yeah, you're painting the town red. Painting the town red. Somebody could be spying on you. You know the vibe I'm getting. I don't think that this is Joe. You know Joe from the series You. You know the, the that that stalker. You know, and there's loads of memes with his face on it, and everybody knows who Joe is. I actually loved that show. I love that show. Expression, truth. Somebody could be spying on you doing this. You could have somebody lurking, could see somebody while you're out, or maybe somebody's not going to let them let you know that they are in the same venue as you. They could spot you. Message and dreams. Mm. I like it, Pisces. You're painting the town red. You're going out here. You're saying you're not sitting in the house. And it's funny because I just had this conversation with somebody today. Sometimes you don't understand why you have certain conversations randomly. And it just so happens that the, the dots get joined. The, the dots join. Okay, let's take a look. Let's just draw for the tarot. For you. Pisces. Let's take a look. Let's move all this over. I actually need to clear this table. I've got like a whole library of tarot next to me right here. Tell me about Pisces. This could be you. This could be somebody around you. Let's see. Messages for Pisces, please. What's going on with Pisces? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. We've got the Four of Wands. This is really nice. We've got the strength card. Yeah, something, there's a renewal in your energy. If you have not felt this yet, you're going to feel a boost. You're going to feel excited again. There's something new that's coming into your energy. Some of you could even be moving. Some of you could feel um, a heightened urge to make some big moves. Things that are going to be very um, beneficial for you, your stability, your well-being. Something new is coming in for you. And with the strength card, you have got over something. You could have dealt with a Leo fire sign with the Knight of Swords. No one can stop you. I'm hearing, don't stop me now. Having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Yeah. What is this, Pisces? I, I asked for a good reading. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. The Four of Cups and the Magician card. 
You thought that spirit forgot about you. You thought that you were left by the wayside. But with the king of pentacles, hello. Something's coming, tapping, tapping you on the shoulder. We haven't forgotten you, Pisces. We just needed you to see your value. We needed to shake you awake. You're waking up to who you are with the magician card. It's like you, you doubted your own ability. Who doubted their own ability here? Was this you? Or did someone overlook you and doubt your ability to manifest, to have a new beginning? Something about doubting your yourself or somebody doubted you. Somebody didn't see you as, as, as being that magician energy. You counted yourself out, Pisces, but you did it too premature. Or somebody counted you out. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This is just the beginning. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The High Priestess. Mm, that is you. You are having a new beginning. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be getting some sort of news from an official that's really positive. This could be a new job, yeah, with the two of cups. It could be about your work, a new job opportunity, a new business partnership. Somebody who really wants to work with you, Pisces, with the ten of swords after a demise. It's like you've hit rock bottom. Whoever I'm speaking to, you've hit rock bottom and it's like, where do I go from here? I don't quite know where I go from here. Something doesn't go, didn't go in my favour. I'm talking as if I'm you. Um, so take it as it resonates. Something didn't really go in your favour, Pisces. And you could have felt like, oh, you know what? I feel pretty crappy right now. And there could have been self-doubt, you know, feelings of um, feeling like you wasn't good enough or feeling like you weren't able to get something out of the mud. Man, are you going to get it out of the mud? Spirit is slapping you with some blessings. I'm telling you, upside your head. Tell me about the four of wands. I'm dramatic, guys. You should know by now. <laughs> Tell me about the four of wands. What is the four of wands? The hierophant and the knight of cups and the two of swords. Yeah, you thought that for some of you, for some of you, um, the Hierophant can talk about higher power, God, okay? Um, God could have put something on hold for you until you started to be kinder to yourself, is what I'm getting. There was something about negative self-talk here, and whether this was you or whether this was somebody projecting onto you that you wasn't going to be able to do something. Or somebody could have made you feel like, oh, you weren't good enough or you were overlooked or nobody saw you. There's something about being ignored, feeling ignored. You felt like you didn't have it in you. Something about doubt started to creep in because something didn't work before. And I'm telling you, there's something that was on hold. There was there's something, this could be in the form of a partnership, a new home, blessing, new beginning something very passionate, something that's going to kind of relight your fire again. It's going to restore your faith in the universe, in God. <sighs> the justice, yeah. Karma. High Priestess and the Hierophant. I've, I've been seeing that combination come out a lot in the last couple of readings. There's a spiritual union that's going on in the collective right now. Aligned. There's something about something not being the right time for you and you needing to um, be positive about things. Talk nice. Talk to yourself nice. You know, that type of energy with the page of wands and the lovers. Some of you have got a new fire sign that is going to be flirting with you, wanting to get to know you here. You could have like a fling with the ten of swords after feeling pretty crappy about something here. This could be a fling. Use your discernment though, okay? You don't want to kind of like regret something. I see if you are going to be indulging, this is not going to resonate for everybody. If you're going to indulge in a um, sexual connection, a friends with benefits situation, you know, sleeping with somebody, you know, no strings attached, a hookup, whatever you want to call it, right? Some of you could have a proposition or an opportunity to do this with the lovers and the page of wands. You are in the process of getting over something Wherever you are on the scale, everybody's going to be in a different place, okay? There's been some healing that you have been doing, okay? 
and do not get yourself stuck in regret over an action or feel like you are back to square one with your healing use your discernment be very logical with how you're moving forward remember how far you've come there's a message here do not undo the work that you're doing for a, a, a quick fix or some sort of quick gratification that is not worth it long term is what i'm seeing tell me about the lovers and the page of wands the sun yeah it will feel good though it'll make you very happy but if that's not the way you want to go if you want something long term then just hold out because something really good is coming in here with the sun the lovers could be involving a fire sign or a gemini that you've got this potentially a fling coming in here or this could have already have happened and you already regretted it with the three of wands. Something's coming in. Tell me about this ace of pentacles, ace of wands. What is all this ace energy? Come on, Pisces. The wheel of fortune come through. Big change. The universe wanted you to know who you were, Pisces, to bless you. The universe wanted you to come through for yourself and believe in yourself before they showed you that we believed in you the whole time. This is powerful with the hermit yeah that's solo energy that's you going within that's you realizing your inner strength the hermit is secure to be by himself herself whoever he's very well read she's very well read very intelligent the hermit doesn't fear being alone because he doesn't feel alone he's got a whole wealth of knowledge and everything else and intelligence to keep him company he doesn't need anybody or anything and that's powerful this is what the universe wanted you to learn belief in self and they were they weren't going to send you this message this blessing this windfall whatever this is this miraculous change that's coming in with this wheel of fortune ace of pentacles and the ace of wands they weren't going to do this for you until you realize who you were Somebody had you feeling like you didn't know who you were. Questioning you. Because something didn't work out in the past. Magician card and the four of cards. You had it in you the whole time. The six of cups, yeah, from the past. Something from the past made you overlook yourself. Somebody else's inability to see what you were worth doesn't have to be the reflection of what you feel like you are worth. It's not the same. It's not a true representation of who you are and what you're worth. Somebody else's actions does not reflect who you are, what you're worth. And that's the big message here, Pisces, is what I'm seeing. Somebody could have stalled giving you anything. They could have been very stubborn here with the tower in the reverse. You dodged a huge bullet with somebody. Somebody could have been so high up their butthole. Sorry to say it like that. Tell me about this four of wands. The Pisces. New beginning. The king of cards. Some of you, it's new love. Could be a water sign. Another water sign. A cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio like yourself. Five of cups sadness change of perspective fear you've overcome pisces i don't there's a big message here of something mentally and we had that air and energy didn't we there's something that you happened in the past with you some sort of disappointment okay it didn't give what it was supposed to give with the four of cups it possibly left you feeling very unsure very fearful of how the future looked or it could have looked a bit bleak for a minute i'll be honest with you pisces but there's something about you could have overcome whole, a whole depression out here with the five of cups and the moon card. You could have been way in there, deep in your emotions for a while. And there's a shift that's happening with the hanged one, Pisces. You've overcome something here, something that was very, very heavy, very, very heavy. And I feel like it has a lot to do with you feeling like you couldn't do something again or feeling like because something didn't go in your favour before, you could have felt like you failed or somebody failed you. It's like you started to feel like you were a failure because of somebody else's indiscretion or something else that was an indiscretion that you could have chosen to get involved with. What didn't work out for Pisces? 
what didn't work out for Pisces. Knight of Swords could have been with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could feel like you did something too fast or somebody was very reckless here. What didn't work out for Pisces? Seven of Pentacles. A lot of frustration over something you invested in. You could have even waited for this and you became very restless, waiting for something that wasn't growing. There's something about something not growing here or you waiting for something, getting frustrated for some sort of wish fulfillment to come in. What didn't work out? What's this? Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, something wasn't moving forward. Something wasn't growing. Something wasn't growing here. Two of Cups could be a relationship, a friendship, some sort of connection. Eight of Pentacles. You were putting in a lot of consistent work to kind of make something change here. And you had to release this because you realised that maybe you were doing the majority of the work to keep something together. You were putting in all the effort. Somebody could have even have been riding your coattail. So you realise that with the hermit energy, it was better that you go it alone. Could be a Virgo. And in that lone time, you created a whole stepping stone to realise your own value. And the fact that you don't need anybody to give to you. You don't need anybody to assist you, if you like in knowing your own value that is a you thing and you've done you've you've learned you've learned the assignment you did the assignment you got the assignment pisces hermit energy the six of pentacles and now because you've gone through this time it could even be a dark night of the soul because you've gone through this time of you know reflecting on what you've been through alchemizing the lesson with the magician card from the past the lesson of disappointment and how to pick yourself up it's almost like you have got the universe literally working with you the universe god whoever you believe in with that hierophant energy is saying right now we are in the place to co-create to create with pisces because pisces sees their own value and they're realizing that they didn't need anybody to make this happen or make this shake let's send in the blessing let's make big changes in pisces life with the wheel of fortune let's give pisces literally with the high priestess and the ace of wands a new beginning a new partnership for some of you this is marriage spiritual union let's give pisces the new home you could even be moving ten of wands and the four of wands let's give pisces what we wanted to give Pisces, only the work that Pisces needed to do was to see who they were so we could bless Pisces. I absolutely love this for you. Pisces, I'm going to leave it right there because I just feel like that how it is. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Only take the messages that resonate. If this is not your story, come back next time amazing amazing keep doing what you're doing and if you're you know where this is this can be different timelines everybody's in a different place okay you could be very much at the in the energy of feeling like something has just not worked out for you and you're in that energy of trying to get your um feelings in check you could be battling with a lot of mental stuff right now you could be feeling low depressed you could be carrying a heavy burden right now you could be right at the end of the timeline where you've experienced all of that and now you're sitting there realizing that now nah, the divine came through for me there was a reason there was a reason for me to be hermiting it was for me to learn my worth and man did you do it or man will you do it have faith be patient. Stay the course. Pisces, that is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Pisces, I will see you soon. Sending you love and light. Thank you to everybody who shows me love, care and support on the channel. I very much appreciate you. Honestly, it blows me away every time. Enjoy the weekend, Pisces, and I will see you soon. Take care. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Bye.